Hello, this is Aussie Stitcher coming to you on May the 4th, Be With You, um, 2018. Hi, how are you guys going? It's been a month. Um, basically, so busy guys. Ridiculously stuff happened and just... Oh... You, you think you kind of got got it. I'm really like dark, pale, and I've random side note. I've tried everything, and either this side goes dark, and this side goes pale, and the other way. It is what it is. Um, so sorry if it's like look a bit sick. No, I'm not sick. Just lighting issues. Um, we had school holidays, which the kids are now back at school. Um, car issues. Oh my God, car issues. If it wasn't for the fact that we just aren't in a position to do it, we would be getting a new car. Not expensive fixes, just this happened and then this happened and then this happened. And that's really annoying um, situation to be in. We've officially started seeding. Um, our boss has, this will be the second day of what they call dry seeding, which means that it hasn't rained, but they, there's, there's only a certain window to put certain grains of crop in. So, um, if you have a long growing crop, like if you have a wheat that actually literally needs to take six months to grow, you have only a short window to get that in the ground. So when it rains, um, it will grow, in theory, it will rain, um, then it will grow and then you have shorter season so you you've got to put in your longer crops in now um, and then you can either pull up and wait until it rains to put in your shorter crops or you can just put in anything a lot of farmers which are full cropping programs they start um, when they you know at a date a lot of them started like at the beginning of April because they've got like six weeks worth of crop to put in. And if they don't start then, whether it rains or not, they're not going to get the crop in to get it growing in time. And that actually, um, yeah, and it affects them. And they have to put, whether it rains or not for them, it's a must that they've got to put that in because their only income is crop. Um, so let's do some rain dances, please. Do not want to do another another year. We've put in a paddock, um, and it's a really, really small paddock, and we've put in oats, which is basically sheep feed. Um, and that's normally if you... I'm probably really over-explaining this, so I apologise, and you can just fast-forward until you see me flash things. Um, if you are a mixed farmer um, like we are, we have sheep on our personal farm, and our boss has sheep. You put in a couple of paddocks dry, again, especially if they're long season like oats or our oats are. Um, but it's also just to test your machinery. A, everything's working. Your spraying gear's working. Your seeding gear's working. Right. So when it looks like it's going to rain, you can just get that baby back out and start going. And that's what we've done. And it was a really good test run on our little paddock. We've actually sprayed for the first time easily and not had any breakdowns. And um, Jeff got the crop in really easily as well. Let's keep that up. Um, also, Lily Lou, our little pet lamb's doing fine. I did have some questions about that, so again, probably over explaining. Um, Lily Lou's mum died, um, and Jeff brought her home. We don't often bring home sheep lambs that mums have died, and that it's quite a lot of work. It can be quite expensive to rear lambs. And there's actually no guarantee they will survive. Um, we had one brought home last year, which I never mentioned. She didn't even last 12 hours and she died. Um, in Lily Lou's case, um, the mum died. Um, either it was a maiden ewe and she had huge difficulties or something was wrong with her or an animal got her and didn't actually ask Jeff. It was so long ago, now it's six weeks. Um, but he, you know... Felt sorry for it. Had a, it looked like it had a really good chance of surviving. So um, 
he brought her home. In a lot of cases though, um, unfortunately in farming, if you do do sheep, not that we have these numbers, but I have a, a friend that runs a farm and they have 40,000 sheep. So it's really hard to keep an eye on the lambing and that it's the strongest of the fittest. It's a horrible thing to say. Um, we only have 300 sheep, including lambs. So Jeff, and being from Scotland, he's like they used to going around lambing. He goes around more often. We actually don't lose that many sheep because um, he's usually kept a really good eye on it. Um, another way to get pet lambs, though, is randomly because the mothers abandon the lambs after they're born. They seem to sense that there is something wrong with that lamb and will just walk off and abandon it. Growing up, we used to have um, quite a lot of lambs that Dad would bring home that would not even last a week. They seemed they were going to and then they would die. And these were usually the lambs that were abandoned by the mums. They just seemed to know I'm not going to put the energy into that lamb and walk away. But um, Lily Lou is doing really well. She'll be here for another four weeks and then um, she'll be heading down with the rest of the sheep. And hopefully she integrates with them. There's always a chance with pet lambs that they don't which makes it really difficult. And that was six minutes of farming stuff that you probably didn't want to hear. I am really sorry. That was a ramble that was not going to happen. So, we're here for stitching. Let's get into it. And if you were on Facebook or Instagram, then you would have realized it's finished and washed. I did leave this, I <laughs> left it in water for way longer than it should have been because um, I had a dash to sport, but it did not, um, the dye didn't run, so just hand up, don't look too close here, done. Um, the glasses I just guessed from the cover picture where they're supposed to go because I couldn't find the top half which if I looked really really hard I could have found it but I was literally like I want this done now could not be bothered not looking to spend my time looking sorry and not just finish this off um, I really enjoy doing the beard randomly uh, I subbed out the metallics that they had in the kit with um, petite treasure braid and I did the glasses in petite treasure braid and also the ball um, recommendations if if you're gonna do a DMC kit I personally would sub it out for um, Zygua, Zygua, whatever, Ada. Get a name brand Ada. I've subbed out my others for name brand Adas. Um, especially the full coverage. There's no point unless you're someone who is very particular with the um, back stitches or that um, to go with even weave. Um, but they didn't really leave enough on the sides I mean it's enough to finish it into a stocking but it was not enough to put a hoop on a Q-snap or um, school frame so if you're someone that uses any of them you're fine oh, I was fine up here until I got to these edges here and that's when I had a lot of issues but I'm glad it's done it was the whip from hell um, it's not that I don't like the picture um, I was very, very over Santa's, very over trees. And um, when that, when my mother gets that and she makes into a stocking, I will show the whole ball together. So that was um, Dimensions Gold Secret Santa. Yay! The only other whip that I've been working on 
is the Prairie Lee Schooler or McDonald, which I'm doing as a birth sampler for a friend of mine whose baby is nearly a year old. And I'm sorry, I didn't even bother, totally forgot doing a before pick, but I had the dog nearly done. So I had done um, the sheep, the chook, the goat, and I was on to the dog and it was nearly done. I only had like, I think, you know, a few to do. So I finished off the dog. I've done the cow, the pig, and I'm on to the horse. And once I finished the border, I found that starting from the bottom and working up for me was a lot quicker than starting at the top and working down. Don't know why. This is done on a sunny dyes um, die and uh, it's 32 count even weave and I have no idea it's like a sky I think it might be called clouds clouds has entered my head for some reason if you ever doing this get two skeins of the green for the grass um, so I think it's like 3052 3052. Um, there is a lot of that grass. To be on the safe side, get two skeins and a lot of white. Um, it says to use white. I'm using B52. B52 is a drink. B500. The brighter white. So yeah, that's my next, I'm in a real, I want to get things finished mood. And I was just um, going through my list of whips that I done. Oh, I'm feeling really touchy today. Don't know why. Postured itchiness. Or nervous because I haven't done it. Sorry if that gulp was a bit loud. And I am down. I had 31 whips and I'm down to 28. But hang on, you say, that doesn't make sense. You've only had two finishes this year. I've sidelined the Betty He Hayde, um, the Tardis from Colour Cassades. And at this stage, maybe Iphinius, I think I actually counted it in because I'm not sure yet. The fantasy cell. Um, I'm finding more than one heaven and earth too much because I want to get Outback Storm finished. So I'm going to put my energy into that and not worry about like I'm just putting them away with the cottons. I actually have a couple more hades, but they're barely started because I just do not have the energy to put into them when I want to finish that hade. So I'm not necessarily like I don't have a high amount of whips and I do have some starts planned this year um, I just want to get some of the older ones done because um, it's nice to have finishes it's nice to go all my hard work is done and I've noticed um, there seem to be like a choir of people like we've all gone through these huge starts and now we're like it's finish time let's get some finishes so we can basically start the other stuff that we have and get them done as well because there's always new stuff coming out that we like so I've had a couple of people ask me and I have 10 mirrors um, whips four dimensions six Joan Elliott's one lakeside needle crafts one chatelaine one rosewood manor one Hade, one Heartstring Sampler, one Frosted Pumpkin, two Frosted Pumpkin actually. And one Prairie Schooler. And yeah, and I'm going to have that done reasonably soon. So we're going to divide rough plans like I did before with five 
also rotations. I'm basically not going to make them strict, strict rotations um, once the priori schooler is done. It's basically, these are the four, five, five things that I want to stitch on in a month month and a half like if I stitch on one for 10 days I'm certainly not going to go oh I've got to stop if I feel it and I just want to keep going then I'm going to keep going um, but there is stuff that I want to work on and my goal from the beginning of the year is to touch every whip and that still is so I have the ones that I will be working on separately and then there'll be like that space between I start the rotation again loosely rotation of um, another whip and actually I just realized I don't have a single Joan Elliott in that four or five which is it is what it is so the first whip that will be getting worked on um, or at some point is um, the season queen so this month um, I will get to it I didn't get to it at all last month, and that is um, the autumn, so that when it's winter, and then when it's winter, I'll start the winter one, and I'll work on that, and then in summer, when hang on, I'm missing a month, spring, and then I'll do the spring, and then we'll go back to the summer, so that way in the seasons, I'm still working on, and I'm moving my hands around, but you actually can't see, you just see my shoulders. <laughs> um, so that way it is, I'm touching them. They're not priorities. They're just something I want to do, start and work on every season. Um, the next one that I want to work on until it's finished is my um, Heartstring Sampler Coffee Quaker. And in all honesty, and I think it's because it is, um, the Quaker style, it's really easy to get like a lot of progress in a short period of time. I've only worked on this twice. And this is a Colour Cassades Golden Touch 32 count even weave. Monaco, I would say. And that's where I am. Up to... And my needle minder is a coffee cup that I either got from Nifty Needle Nannies or the one in Australia, Obsession Needle Minders. And the other one that I would like to work on is August Fairy the Peridot. Peridot Fairy by Mirabilia. And I think I could actually get this done this year because there's a, as you can see, there's a lot of just bulk black and stitching. So, you know, even if I don't necessarily finish it this year, I think I could come quite close to getting it reasonably done. And then I look at what I've got done and I'm like, eh, maybe not. And this is done on 32 count Belfast Opal from Calicassades in Fairy or Barbie. One of those two. It's a beautiful fabric. And my needle minder, which it reminds me of Michaela, because this is for Michaela is um, from Nifty Needle Nannies. I actually thought I had a bit more of her like body done. But I, I still think that, because I've only worked on that a couple of times, and I found I get a lot done in a short period of time. But I'd be happy if I got over half of that done, because that means I can get that finished next year. And she can get it for her birthday. Uh, I also want to work on Mirabilia. Oh, there might be a lot of Mirabilias. I didn't think of that. 
enchanted mermaid because Sophie is getting quite annoyed with me. She wants this yesterday. And I am... So this is not going to get finished this year. But if I can just keep making progress, then that will be all good. This is on 32 Count Opal Belfast from Chromatic Alchemy. That one. I'm not even going to attempt it. And my needle miter is from Nifty Needle Nannies. What's wrong? My roller coaster. And lastly, um, Outback Storm. Thanks, Lee. I like to race, racing, chasing. I like to be number one. Outwork by uh, Jeff Pritchard, but he also goes. I'm a crazy race coaster. Sorry, Will, please don't. Yes, I am wearing my Star Wars pants, if anyone noticed, because it's Star Wars. And you will, when I'm finished. And I'll just continue working up till I get to the top. That's not the way you talk to me, and that's not the way you ask. You need to calm down. Do you need a cuddle? Yeah, do you need a cuddle? Okay. Alright, so that's roughly my plans. And then I think I need to stick some drone aliens in there until I get some, <laughs> get my fix. Um, when it comes to drone Elliot July, um, I will stop working on anything, everything else and I'll be just stitching in that month. So I'll get my fix. Now for my giveaways. Oh yeah, I'll do my giveaways and then I'll quickly do haul. When I'm finished this. So the first one, no one wanted that one, was the knitting cat. Pardon? Hello again. Well, oh, come on, sit up and say hello. Hello. Um, yeah, your cars. You're going to go back and watch Blaze until I can make you your frog? Alright, alright. Will, I've got to finish doing this and I don't want this stocked again. So, Will, are we listening? William. So, Kimberly Butler, congratulations. You're, you can release. You are the winner of this. the cat sleeping cat Nina hobby site congratulations you're the winner of this one and last of all but not least the bunny one and I will make it in a minute is Jane Nelson I will link my email below if you want to give me your address and there's still the windmill and the mouse one from the previous. I hate Excuse me. I hate frog. You hate frog. Yeah. Do you want to go and watch Blaze, and I'll come and give you a treat when I'm finished. I had milk. Yep, when I'm finished. Okay. Can you wait? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go and maybe grab yourself a packet of chips? Mm -hmm. Would you like to do that? Mm -hmm. All right. You can sit there. Um. So that's them done.
And the new ones are, sorry, um, Precious Gift. So if you would like this one, please say you'd like to stitch the baby. That's a pretty one. I am so sorry for the noise, people. Another cat one. If you would like to stitch this one, please say you would like to stitch the cat. Yeah, when I'm done. If you would like to stitch this naming piece, say I'd like to stitch the circus. No elephant. Whoever invented battery toys. Really? Right, so there's that one. And if you would like to stitch this birdie one, please say you would like to stitch the bird. So there's the bird. Circus. The cat. And the baby. I am. If I didn't do the farming talk, I would have been fine. Quickly onto the bits of stitching happiness that I brought. I got um, the sun goddess. I think because of the purples and that's just Iona the hair and that and I got the beads because after having some stuff go out of um, this continued in the treasures and that I'm a little bit like not so much the beads but let's get the treasure stuff I got this one as well which has a bit of a story to it um, Carla Cassades Tammy is friends with a couple that had a baby and unfortunately the mother of that baby passed away to complications um, like two days later and the baby they named the little girl Athena so she's um, selling or was I don't know if she still is if you want this message Tammy from color Cassades, I think he just poured himself some milk um, the whole profit she donated to the go fund to help the father out with his new little girl and all the cost that comes with it plus the funeral and it, it's just so tragic so thank you Tammy for doing such a wonderful thing I know you were friends with the family so it was heartache on your part as well um, I also got the next one in the farm house Christmas by Little House Needleworks. I'm going to do these into ornaments. I actually might even do these one over one to make them smaller. Or not. That might be a right size. Um, and I also got uh, my bags. I managed to get the mum mummily bags from MLAC. Um, Electric. Elect possessions um, she has a Facebook group and posts whenever she does bags she, I got this one and she so very nicely um, sorry sent me a card which was awesome that's just yeah keep that um a needle minder i i'm not into halloween per se i'm not into the horror movies watching the horror movies and we're not do halloween in australia i am into learning about the history doesn't matter how creepy it is i will read it i can i can read things better than i can visually um watch something that's horror um, 
and wizards and witches, stitching wise, dragons, love that kind of stuff. So this is just awesome. I love it. And I got my, and she sent me some colour and cotton hand dyed threads, um, petunia, rainbow fish, and lullaby. So pretty. Thank you for that, Emery. I have thanked you. I don't think you watch my channels. And I also got in her last sale this bag. Beautiful. And this bag. That's it. Um, sorry about the pad getting knocked. Sorry about the extra noises. I hope you guys have an awesome, just a fantastic week, month, um, it might be monthly, depending on my what I have haul-wise, which isn't going to be very much. So mainly stitching um, is how often I'll come back. Maybe fortnightly, more likely monthly. Just sport. Um, Sophie does junior hockey. Iona does degrade netball. Michaela does uh, netter, which is little kids netball. She does minky, which is little kids hockey. And Auskick, which is Little Kids Australian Football League. Um, it is just busy. Busy, busy, busy. Um, so, we'll see how we go. Um, happy stitching. Happy life. Do all the stuff that you want to do. Buy the stuff that you want to buy. Don't buy the stuff that you don't want to buy. Just be happy. See you later. Bye.